Lying just one win adrift of the top eight, North Melbourne knew this was a match they couldn't afford to drop. However, the Richmond of mid-season is a vastly different one to the outfit that struggled through the first nine rounds. Since then, the Tigers have won five from six and welcomed Ben Cousins back after his recent medical dramas. Steady rain made the MCG a tricky venue for scoring and the opening major was almost a giveaway with North putting it on a platter for Jake King to snare his first for 2010. King's kick is good. Having met success with that kick, King tried another. Although this one would have been more at home in a Bruce Lee movie. He can't do that, Jake. Jack Revolt tried to put the Kangaroos off their game and his attempt at a specky wasn't much better either. Typical of two teams struggling with their timing in the wet. But there's one thing that the Tigers' sharpshooter does better than anything else, and that's finding the big sticks. Kick is on its way, and it's good. That put Richmond back in front by a point early in the second term, but this contest was about to take a dramatic shift. Trent Cochin belted Sam Wright into the next century, and not surprisingly, found himself being reported. Hey, he's been, I've reported him, OK? From the resultant 50 metre, Brent Harvey banged it through. And then two more goals followed in quick succession. My word, he can kick it a long way, forget the one out. With Lee Adams grabbing his second of the day, and Todd Goldstein getting in on the act as well, as the shin boners assumed control. And suddenly, that cotchard hit in the centre of the ground has had big repercussions. Richmond had to react, and did so through back-to-back -back six pointers. The second of them being another example of Jack Revolt's astonishing accuracy. And this one is beautiful. Andrew Swallow negated Revolt's offering on the cusp of half time, leaving North in the driver's seat with a 14 point buffer at the main break. Takes a deep breath, puts it through. North returned to put their pedal to the metal, turning in a dominant third quarter display. And Wells within range. Oh, that hurts. Their performance was just as you'd expect from a side that's still in finals contention as they took the contest right away from their less experienced opponents. They're impressive right now. The Kangas kicked five unanswered goals in that period to assume a match-winning lead of 46 points at three-quarter time. Campbell comes in. It's getting very dark here. With the game gone, Richmond opted to steal some tactics from other codes, with Ben Cousins crafting a rugby league-style grubber for Robin Nahas to soccer the Sharon through. Off the ground, Nahas. Goal. But in this, the third annual Eureka game, it was the hungrier Kangaroos who struck gold. Hanson. Oh, oh, wow. How about that? After coming up with a couple of near misses, Ben Warren finally found the middle in the dying stages. Oh, all good things to those that wait. That polished off an excellent day for North Melbourne, taking them into triple figures with a half-century winning margin and also taking them a little closer to the top eight. David Rowlands, Big Pond Sport.